Hold right there, you speedy hare. No entry to you past this point. Without a password to anoint. What is this place? A den for those who answer the call of a slick and slippery midnight brawl. To compete, a phrase that must be spoken, but it seems you don't yet have this token. Worry not, young pup, and look around. If memory serves, there's a clue to be found. You speedy hare. No entry to you past this point. Without a password to anoint. Naked fists and wall-eyed lisps. Ah, keen eye and clever nose. You'll need them both to keep on your toes. Enter, enter, take your shot. But careful, don't get beat to snot. Are you ready? Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. Let's see if you don't take a fall against the one they call the Wall. Edward of Lincoln. The Lincoln. <laughs> Watching you rub bodies was an absolute treat. You moved just like a noodle. A favorite thing to eat. It would please me to no end to watch you fight again. So whenever, now or then, return promptly to my den. Ugh. Ah, back again, hmm? Ready for more? Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. There may be shared blood in your veins against this rapid-firing Dane, Bola of Kent. Again, mm? ready for more. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. I think it's time your head got stung, for none remain but the silver tongue. One on one, you'll fight with me. Champion of the BBB. <laughs>
such a fight. You wallop me with all your might. It seems to me you've proven to be champion of the BBB. I am honored, I think. Go on now, carry our name with only pride and never shame. Remember how it was you came to be blessed with so much fame. Farewell. Lots of hungry fish here.
I have still more remnants of the Nephilim. I have marked a symbol upon the stones, that future folk may imbue their spirit with the energy within. For those who wish to seek communion with the Lord here, be wary, for he speaks through ciphers, and his words are woven with ancient fibers. He is manifest here. He hath made importance of these pillars brought by the giants of yore, now guarding us as only he knows. Amen.
Good traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. My prices are competitive. All right. Right. Let me show you something on your map. Crossing a new threshold, take care, for it is difficult to know what foes lie in wait beyond. You, alchemist. What happened to me after I drank that piss? How should I know? I told you, I cannot explain how it works. What I can say is the elixir hit you particularly hard. You stumbled out of here, then began sprinting across this forest as if you had a nose for something. Very feral. I was worried, but I'm glad to see you are all right. Your wealth has swelled, has it not? In a manner of speaking, I awoke in a cave beside a dead man clutching some treasure. Hmm. I've not heard that outcome before. One of your customers on the same pursuit, I think. Only he was not so lucky. Perhaps I should shelve this elixir for the time being. At least until I can better understand its effects. Good thinking.
It's over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My thing! What has happened? Your capture fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh, God, no. It was only a game. A romp. My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction. <laughs> oh, God. You really thought my life was in danger? And you risked your own. Oh, you. Oh, you are so brave. A fine protector. Tell me you're joking. Please. You must fight for me. Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector. Stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Assuredly. Trouble coming. Real trouble. Keep quiet. now. I'd say that's worth a look. Ugh. me, all up. I think it is time I take my leave. Nothing more to share.
What? Dark spirits torment this land. It smells like a trap. <coughs> Easy now. Something's not right. around here.
Just hold on tight. Careful, please. This leaf cannot fall. Stay back. Do not touch this tree. All right. What is your name? May. Eivor. Something about this tree important to you. It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fall into the ground. And now, only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. Your father sounds like an honest man. Went looking for work to take care of you. He would make every effort to return home. And that is reason enough to hope. But this... It serves no purpose to fret like you are. Then what should I do? Carry on, as if you were to return tomorrow. No matter what happens to this leaf. Yes. Yes, I shall do as you say. My father would want the same. Thank you, Eivor. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer. Till the goats begin to bray, or... Yes, a little longer. That's it, then. Carry on with your life, May. Everything will be all right. Easy, friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today, my saga is ripped! Glory! Ah, oh, a brave steed has swept me up! Onward to my loyal companion! If I don't stop him, something or someone less forgiving will. I should stay close by, wait for him to tire. to my legend! My belly 
really hurts, and I do not know why. I should not be seen in this area. You keep this up, you're going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! Now stand aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! I'm going to have to drag you back myself, eh? I think I can no longer walk. Yes, it appears so. Oh, if my mother could see me now. I have been struck by a sudden wave of... Tired. I am tired. Have you seen the skull? He may still be under the effects of some mushrooms he ate. I'll keep searching. Yes, God. Where are you? I must find my way back to you. My saga is complete, and it is the envy of all who came before. Your skull. Gods. Is he dead? No, but he should be. Seems the gods disagree this time. Splash water in his face and keep your distance. You'll throw up something fierce. Thank you for the advice, and for your trouble. Which is now my problem. <sighs>
fire is a blessing to one who has traveled far. To he who enters from the cold with frozen legs in need of food and clothing. Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. We can retrace his steps. It's luck he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. We should get going. <laughs> we should get going. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. Aid me. Be my eyes. Here. Oh no! Eivor! Over here! A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace. Why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at its eyes. There's something wrong with this one. a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Another smell of death. It is 
almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Wallace? The white elk! The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. Our guardian is back, leading us to my brother. Petra! Where are you? Come! Petra! Hello? Mimir, guide me. Have I lost me? Mimir, guide me. Have I lost her too? You will know where she has gone. I am... Um, I am sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Deliver comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. We're looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Well, what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. To Sutunger's Hall! What have you done with Petra? Just watch! Truth. I must know where you are. Evil, I am right here. There is no need to question this carrion further. Oh. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra. I met your old friend the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes before I found you. You were visited. For a time. We talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah, oh, look there! This is strange, say, dear Petra. Where are you? <laughs> Over here! Eivor, come on! I'm up here! Petra? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. 
easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line. Come on, run! No, no, no! Too far, too far. Amazing. You did it, just like your Soonan, and not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wall spirits have wakened. Good day, Squirt. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wolves? Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra! Hurry! with nothing to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could, but I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission.
Bex, are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I can reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is.
Wink, my love, wink. Soldiers at our door. They've come for you. For us. Let them take me. I have no more fear. Let me air my wrath in the courts. They'll kill you before they let you speak. I'll appeal to the council. They must know what the Mad One has done. They're upon us. Now is not the time.
Bex, I'm closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got the data. Sending it now. What do you have today? Have you got a contract for me? I'll see you later, friend. Show me what lies ahead.
gods you need that Eivor sends you.
wish my life had been a carnival of drinking ale and pissing. It could have been, I'm sure. No, we have not reached such a point. I used the order to live a life of ale drinking, but the price of my ale was murder. Sad, really. friend my thanks friend
should talk to Heidlin about my next targets. May I see your stores? You like the looks of that one? Done for now. Be well, my friend. Looks like I have a new letter. Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? 
My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. Volka! God, Zepo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. You foresee great things for us. No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. And here we are. Lovely, just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lichestershire? The Alliance has won. 
The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Sheolbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandabridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal. I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any one of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn. First to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. All you say is nonsense, Dag. Have I done something to raise your ire? Just as I thought. You're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here. With me! Is as weak as they claim. We will pick its bone. You have seen nothing. 
nothing of our strength. Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Ah. Ah. Have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy's earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. May there be one who mourns you at home, for we will not. Eivor, I could have sent my scouts to follow him home. We might have learned something. The price of such disrespect is death, Renvi. Just as Sigurd would have done. I cannot devise a strategy if my advice is ignored. To let that man live would announce to the world that we are soft and cowardly. Now these wayward Danes know to fear us. Forgive my haste, Randy, but Dag is right. For once you see clearly. I beg the gods that it continues. We should clean this mess and move the bodies from the camp. Agreed. We talk of our next steps, together. Looks like I have a new letter. Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them.
Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. You have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just just trust me. I think he did it. Shh, she's... You did it. You brought Eivor. Good work, Knut. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. A Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She is crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. No key here. I should look around. A bloody boar. I think we have found our killer. Wallace isn't here to butcher you, but I need to see if you're carrying a key. that wolf and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. Easy. Easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. Wait! Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. 
Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Uh, more wolves! And not our new friend! Amor! Stand back! Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. De Wolfka. What? De Wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? The Wolfka. It has an absurd sound just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now, we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home. I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Jailbeard, are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us, instead of just hiding here in the Longhouse. You are exactly where you needed to be, defending the people and yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient, and your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you. Not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then. Eivor, you're back. Nice to see you. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. 
so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I'll make the trip east then. Speak to this Finier myself. A good plan. Safe travels. I did. Put them right over there. Keep them out of your way when you want you to. That is. Eivor, again, your people impress me with your skill. The invaders barely stood a chance. Here. This marks few members of the Order. Another one? You are certainly proficient. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. I have to go. Then go in peace. What have you got for me today? This was a fun one to chart. It's on your map now. I'm here if you need anything more. Tell me about what you do here. I've traveled this great country and found all manner of secrets, plus a few points of interest. For a price, my maps can be yours. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Be safe out there.
Well met, Eivor. While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. All right, bring out my lieutenant. I would like to reorganize the crew. Good for now? I'll see you later, friend. win all day. I must turn this around. I hear Eivor needs men. And by Odin, Eivor needs me. I'll be ready to serve when the time comes. <laughs> 